PVZ Heroes is one of those games that I always come back to every once in a while. I don't know, something about it, it's just charming. I got charm coming out of my- <laughs> Yeah, that's real charming. And surprisingly, after seven years, yes really, there's still a pretty large community. Sure, there's a pretty large overlap between fans of the game and just the PVZ franchise in general, but with a seven-year-old game, you gotta take what you can get. I mean, think about everything else that came out in 2016. Um... Um... Uh... Okay, so there were some pretty legendary games that came out in 2016, but... Pokemon Go also came out in 2016, and that game fell off. Anyway, seeing how this game has a pretty large community based on how old it is, I wanted to take a look at some fan card ideas. Card fan ideas? Ideas of fan cards? I don't know, one of those. I've asked a bunch of YouTubers who've made videos about custom PVZ Heroes cards, and only two of them responded. So give a loud round of applause to Maya Cat and Something From Space. Let's start with Maya Cat. They have a video about what some PVZ2 plants and zombies would look like if they were added to PVZ Heroes. There is a lot of stuff in this video though, so I'm gonna have to go through some of it pretty fast. And I also couldn't include all of them, so I do recommend you watch the original video linked in the description. Wow! But just know that the ones I didn't include are pretty good how they are, and I don't really have anything to say about them. Also, the changes I would recommend are to make the cards realistically fit into PVZ Heroes. I'm trying to put myself into PopCap's shoes, as if they were actually gonna be added like tomorrow. But without further ado, let's get into it. For Endurian, I would change the knockback damage to 2, but increase the health to 4. I'm honestly surprised this isn't already in the game. Honestly, it would fit right in, but I would also make it block strike through damage as well as overshoot. So I assume you can choose where to put the spiky barrier, but I feel like 7 sun cost is too much. For one, I would make the spiky barriers have team up. I would also increase the holly barrier's attack to either 4 or 5, but probably 4. But the berry evolution is pretty good. Really good, and honestly, we need more plant environments like this. Not just, plants here have 5 attack and 5 health, or plants here can't be hurt. So this is just better poison ivy. And I don't think aggro solar flare needs any more anti-hero cards. But with that said, I think I would make it more like Peapod, where every turn it gets 1 plus attack and 1 plus health. I think this would make it more balanced and also just more accurate to the original, getting bigger and bigger. I would also probably change it to a 2-3. I also think this would have to be rebranded as a different plant or given a different name because Citron does kinda already exist. Maybe they'd call it Citron Classic. I think I would change it to a smarty plant, just because it is pretty technically advanced and Kabloom has enough aggro as it is. Since smarty is arguably the worst class, it'll make this a little more niche but less annoying since you won't run into it as often. Way too expensive, considering chickening and walnut bowling exist. I would make it cost 2 and do 1 damage to each zombie. I would change it to a 1-1 one -one to match plant food, and also change it to the smarty class, for basically the same reason as celery stalker. Moving plants to smarty class is the best way to nerf them, honestly. Change it to a 3 cost with health. Change this to a 3 cost as well, so if you play it on turn 6, you can also play the plant food you just conjured. I love this. Just make it cost 3, and this would be so fun. I know it would be super situational, but, I mean, weed spray exists. When I go against the teleportation deck and have this, it would make my day. This would honestly be one of the best cards in the game. We need this. This is gonna seem like a random reference to most of you, but this looks like a Marvel Snap card. But no, I like it. Maybe change it to the crazy class so it can synergize more with dancing zombies, but no, this is a good card. Honestly, looking at these zombie cards, they're really good. I have no notes, I just wanted to say that. While it is uncanny seeing a Zombot cost 3, this is the type of thing PopCap would do. Also, the Imp Dragon should cost 2. I have some things to say about Arcade Zombie. I would make it so it acts more like Zombie King, where it replaces a zombie with an 8-bit zombie. I would also make it have 5 health, skipping forward a little bit so we can talk about the 8-bit zombies. My life is like a video this is... useless, for lack of a better word. I would make it cost 0, since there aren't any 0 cost cards in the Brainy class. Honestly, just to make things interesting, I would give this 2-2, but with armor too. 
Because I always thought it was weird that the night zombie was the only zombie with armor 2. It'd be cool to see more. I would give this 5 health with armor 2 as well. But in general, yeah, I like arcade zombies concept. I always like the random type cards like transformation station, especially since there's a chance you get a regular apid zombie or a buckethead. It spices things up a little bit. I would make him cost 1 and his tent transform into a completely random zombie, like portal zombie. I would make this cost 2 instead of 3. I would increase its attack to 3 and make it spawn a regular jetpack zombie. And I know this video is only about adding new cards, but I would also change Disco Tron into spawning this instead of regular Disco zombies. If this were to become too overpowered, I feel like Popcat might change it to when this destroys a plant. But as it is, I enjoy it. I would make it spawn 2 zombies so it matches Plankwalker. Make this cost- Also, this made me audibly laugh out loud when I read it. I would maybe also give this Overshoot 2 to represent its ability in PvZ2, but that might be a little busted, so I don't know. I might sound like a broken record, but make it cost 3. But that's everything I have to say about Maya Cat's video. Man, I talk a lot. Thank you for making it this far. But next up, we'll be looking at some of Something From Space's PvZ Heroes card ideas. But the thing is, they make more <coughs> posty type videos. But I will be taking them 100% seriously. I would make it cost so it's balanced. Honestly, make this a 7-6 with untrickable and cost 7 and I think this would be a good card. Maybe overpowered, but I mean, look at PvZ Heroes. This is just instead all over again. This is giving me flashbacks to the Clock Tribe. This should 100% be added though. This would be crazy, but pretty interesting and fun. Maybe make it cost 3, but this is an epic card as it is. I would just make it throw a regular Garg and cost 6 with 4 health. Honestly, this seems way too overpowered. I would probably make it cost like 6 or 7, because that ability is crazy. But honestly, it is something PopCap would add. I mean, look at PvZ Heroes once again. Just so it's not a complete mirror to Black Eyed P, I would make it cost one more and have one more health and attack. How could you make this and not name it King Johnny? It's rightful name. I would honestly make this cost too, since it could easily get got by Rolling Stone or Plumber. But this does remind me of a vintage PvZ Heroes card. Please, add this, PopCap. Add it. If you want to really be PopCap, you'd give this 3 health and team up. Yes, I'm looking at you, Twin Sunflower. Honestly, this is one of my favorites. I would make it armored too, just to be extra annoying, but it would also bring back regular zombie, which is epic. Okay, I think this is enough PvZ Heroes fan card ideas, ideas of fan card. This is enough for one video. I hope you did enjoy, and once again, thanks to Maya Cat and Something From Space for letting me do this. If you enjoyed, you can like and subscribe or whatever, and next video will be the premiere of a new series I want to do on this channel, so stay tuned for that, and as always, oh yeah, and thank you to my members, uh, Rainbow Mini-Me, Rainbow Slayer, and McBeals. Okay, bye. This isn't Fortnite funny.